Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Operation Christmas Child boxes. Now this is something that I like to get involved in every year and it's an important part of my run up to Christmas. And I also like to get my kids involved so that they're thinking of others. Now the idea is that you send a covered shoe box filled with gifts um, to a, a child somewhere in the world. Now the collection um, dates this year in the UK are between the 15th and the 22nd of November but it's going on all over the world so if you're interested and you'd like to get involved then definitely check out the website and also on there are guidelines about what you can and you can't put in your boxes so I thought what I would do is just turn the camera around I'm going to show you what I've put in my boxes to hopefully inspire you to get involved so first of all, I went onto the website and I printed off a label. Um, this box is going to be for a girl between the ages of five and nine. So I'm just going to attempt to repack the box with the things that I got. I got a little lockable notebook, a little plain sort of lined notebook. Got a big pack of felt tip pens and a PE bag. Got a little frozen scarf. I got a scratch it rainbow kit. Um, and this one has just got a little wooden stick for scratching. Some of them have blades on, but you, you can't really put things like that into a box. Um, some double ended coloring pencils. And a lot of these things I got from Home Bargain. I got a traditional skipping rope. And then I've got some hygiene items. So I've got a little flannel, which is really soft. Bar of soap. And something that I haven't done before is I got the shampoo and conditioner bar. So you're not allowed to put liquids in, but I thought that was quite a good idea. I got this big uh, mini, mini Mouse style hairband, which might be a bit of a challenge to get in, but um, we'll see how we, get, how we do. Also got another little pink hairband with a bow. Got a party pop teeny, which is basically the the dolly basically pops out with some um, confetti. I've got this um, <laughs> shower squeegee, but I am wondering about whether this is a good idea actually, and whether it's going to fit. But we'll see how we get on. And then I think um, what I'll do is put the wow toy on the top. So it's always nice for them to open the box and see like a wow toy. So I was going to pop him. Um, in the top. I got some hair bands and some hair clips. Just tuck those in. I've got a toothbrush and actually I think what I'll do is pick up a little toothbrush cover before I send the box off. Um, I got some little kid sunglasses. Got a little unicorn purse. Um, a bead kit to make necklaces. Always like to have some sort of activity in there and then I got these little um, toddler princesses which I guess are another wow toy so I've got Elsa, Rapunzel and Cinderella and that is the girls box. Now moving on to the boys box I've got um, a poster art pictures which look really nice and quite nice sort of boys pictures in there, um, a pirate colouring book I've got an activity book, but it's also got um, a little mini figure in it, which I thought was fun. I got um, another drawstring bag for the boys' box. Got some colouring pencils. I got a little notebook, and you can take the little letters off and peel them and put them in different places. So I thought that was quite good. And then I'm going to put the wow toy in because it's so big, and it's actually a deflated football. Um, it, this is quite a big one, it's a size 3, so I'm going to put it in and then see if I can work around it. With the football I also got this pump, so it's a ball and bike pump to go with it so that they can pump it up. So I also got um, a little Wilco um, version of Lego, a little car. So next for the hygiene items for the boys box, um, again I got a little flannel. I did the same with the soap and I got a little shampoo and conditioner bar as well because I thought that I just like that idea. Uh, again, another toothbrush, but I'm going to get a cover for it. I've got another 
little squeegee. That one's a bit smaller for the boys' box, which hopefully go in. I got some pickup sticks, so another little traditional toy. Got some stickers, a little notebook. Oh, and I got a, a watercolour paint set. That's really to go with the little art set. Put that underneath. Got a, a light up um, yo yo, but it doesn't need batteries or anything, it will just work. So that's really good. You can use it straight away. Um, I got a fidget toy, which actually Emily really wanted, but she's got loads of that sort of thing. And then finally, I got these little Christmas socks, which I just thought was so cute. So they're going in as well. And that is the boys' box. So the last thing to do is just to go online and pay for the shipping. They do ask for a donation of five pounds per box. You can print off a label, pop it inside, put a rubber band around the box and then take it to the collection point. The good thing about having the label is you can follow the box and actually you'll get an email after Christmas, you'll know what country it's gone to and they'll send you a video of children opening their boxes in that country and it's so heartwarming, it's just a lovely thing to see. Thank you for watching, if you're not a subscriber then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video, bye!